Okay guys, uh, we're ready to do some more work on the uh, Jawa 350 two-stroke. Um, so uh, I've got the engine back in, so we've rebuilt the engine, um, changed out the, uh, the shift forks, uh, as well as the shift plate in the gearbox. Uh, we've got new pistons, new rings, new primary chain, new clutch plates. Uh, yeah, I've gone, th gone through it pretty good. So now um, the next step was to install the engine. So I didn't film the install the engine, but it's exactly the same as the removal process. So if I think if you look at part, uh, I think it was part three of this series that where I removed the engine, it's exactly the same uh, process. There's actually um, basically three connection points on the engine. There's a, a bolt here that goes through the frame directly through. Another one that's actually on the um, on the foot peg, another bolt that goes directly through the frame, and then there's the front uh, connections there. It's all very, very obvious. And the way I put it back in, I'm sorry I didn't film it, but the way I put it back in, it's just set it in the frame initially, and then I just got a car jack uh, because I'm here by myself. If you had a second person, it'd be really simple. But if you don't, if it's, you're just doing it like by yourself, I just used a car jack to lift it in a few different places. Used, used a couple pieces of wood just to prop it in place while I slid the pins in. It was really quite a simple process. So now the next step is to reassemble the rest of it. So we need to obviously, you know, get the uh, sprocket on, get the chain on, get the uh, brake light switch on, the stator, you know, stator slash generator back on there. Um, so that's the stuff that we will be doing next. Okay guys, so we're going to try to get the sprocket on here, but uh, what we need to do first um, is there's actually as the, the chain here, a little bit hard to see perhaps, but the chain is in these rubber boots right here. So to, uh, the, before, to, there's actually a, a metal attachment that needs to go on first, and that then attaches to the rubber boots on each side, right? So the very, very first step is to take this piece and just slide it in here and uh, get it on there. So, come on, baby. Okay, sort of like that. So that just sits there for now. It'll be tightened down once we uh, get the sprocket and, and the washer on and that sort of thing. So that's, uh, that's step one. Uh, then the next step, of course, is the sprocket right here. So uh, we're going to slide that into the chain. And we may have to loosen off the rear tire, the rear, uh, you know, the chain somewhat to get this on here. I think I already have it a little bit loose, but we'll find out here pretty quickly, I guess. Maybe, you know what I think we're going to do without the chain on there, we'll just test fit it first. That probably would have been a smart idea get that out of there. Okay, don't mind me, I'm going to struggle with this a bit and come back to you. Okay guys, uh, as I'm sure all of you were uh, yelling at your computer screen and suggesting as I was trying there, um, yeah, I just loosened the uh, the back wheel off, uh, moved the, the forward a bit to give us a little bit of slack with the chain and I think she's going to work now. So let's just give this a go here. So I'm just get her lined up and yeah, there she is chain back on. So now all we have to do obviously is tighten it up here, tighten the chain back up to the proper tension and that'll be that'll be good. So that bit is done. So that's that's great. All on there nice. Yeah so the next bit is to put the washer on. Funky washer. Okay. And the nut. Now the washer you'll notice has multiple tabs on it and when we took it off two of those tabs were turned up against the nut so that it won't move. So that's the same process we are going to follow here as well. So like the, uh, the you'll also notice that it's it's got, uh, you know, it's, it's got the same pattern as the, uh, as the shaft here as well. So we've got to get that lined up to go on there. So just do that. 
that first. Okay, got that on. Get our net on. Now the net actually has a flat side and a rounded face, so we're obviously going to put the flat face, you know, against the sprocket here. And then for tightening it up, I'm going to do the same process I did for removing it, which was using a, uh, an impact gun. Uh, because, of course, when you turn this, it does turn the engine. Uh, although I think we're in neutral right now. Maybe it won't. But in any event, I'm going to use an impact gun to, to, uh, to, uh, to actually tighten that up. And then we'll flip those tabs over. So we'll do that next. Okay, guys. Got the... Uh, Got the impact out. It is a 32 millimeter um, uh, socket that we're using on this. It's fairly substantial. Um, just gonna give it a little go here. Okay, that's on there nice and tight. And now we'll flatten a couple of these tabs over to make sure that she can't move. Okay, guys, we're going to. Uh, knock a couple of those tabs over now so we're going to obviously pick ones that are on fate that are on a, what would you call it on the uh, the face of one of the sides of the net to try to get that done so we'll just get it up here a little bit and they move up pretty easily so i got it up with a screwdriver now i'm going to use a punch just to flatten her down a little bit here the side. I can hit it. So there she goes. Nice and flat up against it. So now we're going to pick another one. We'll pick another one on the other side just in case, you know, one of these decides to let go or something. We'll have a second one. So we're going to front this. So this would be a better one. Yeah, this is a better one here. So hopefully you can see that. We'll grab the punch and we'll flatten it down against the face. Alrighty. Okay, good. It is on there. Um, so that bit's done. Uh, the next bit, we're going to need to put the other half of this cover on here and then secure these two boots back onto, uh, back onto the chain here. So that'll be the, well, on the chain guard. As I mentioned, the chain is completely enclosed in these rubber boots. So uh, we got the other piece on here and put the, put the boots on it and that'll completely enclose the chain. Okay guys, now we're going to put the outside cover of this on. And it's a little bit tricky because it has to go into these boots into these boots here and and also has to go on the outside of the undercover as well. So it's a little bit, going to be a little bit persnickety to get this on, but that's what we got to do. So that's the next bit. So I'm going to try putting it in the boots here first, because I think that's the hardest bit, frankly. Make sure it's in the boots. And then we're going to try to get the cover on the underside here of the cover first. Yeah. I'll try that again here. I'm try sliding it on the bottom side first. Then into the boots. Come on, baby. Yeah, you gotta get into a few different things here. It's just one of those things you gotta just struggle with till you get it. There we go, we got it. We've got it. Now we don't have it quite lined up right, but we'll get that. Okay, cool. I don't know if you can see this or not, but our uh, clutch release pin needs to go in here. And it's, as you can see, slightly off center from this hole. So when we tighten this, when we actually tighten this cover up with the bolts, we'll recenter it and make sure that that's centered so that there's no riding of the uh, clutch release pin. So hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll get make sure that we get that lined up. But yeah, that that bit's on there, so that's good. Now, the only the other thing I need to do is take these brackets, put them over top of these, and tighten these up. So that'll be that'll be the next thing. Okay, guys, now we're going to tighten up the uh, the brackets that go around the rubber boots. So they go around this housing like this, 
and the clamping down. So we're just going to tighten these guys up. Making sure they don't slip off in the process. Kind of an innovative system here, keeping the chain entirely enclosed like this. Uh, clearly nowhere near as good as shaft drive, but you know, pretty good. You know, pretty darn good for keeping your chain in really great shape. The other thing, and I think I mentioned this uh, in a previous video, but um, this chain does not have to come off to replace the rear wheel, which is really, I think, awesome. It'd be amazing for, especially for off-road bikes, dirt bikes, adventure bikes, just making life so much easier. It's actually, I think, a really great system that they've got for that. So, uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, I think I've got that in part one or part two of this series, something like that. But, I mean, that's just fantastic. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to know more about that, uh, leave, leave a note in the comments and I'll see what I can, uh, I can show you so on, the, on the rear wheel because that is just awesome. Okay, that's pretty much on there. We still have to go and put bolt some, uh, obviously secure this down, but that, I believe, gets secured down with the clutch release mechanism. So that'll be, that'll be the next thing. Of course, I'm putting the shaft release pin in there too. It just slides in there. So, yeah, onward and upward. Okay guys, we're now going to secure this down by putting the clutch release mechanism on here as well. So it's going to end up kind of like that. The, the clutch cable comes through here, through here, and uh, act, actuates the pin here. There's a little push, there's a little push mechanism on here. You'll see that it's adjustable right here, right? And pushes the pin in when you pull the clutch. Okay, so that's how that that actuates and as I mentioned as we're doing this as we're tightening these we need to center we need to center this whole housing because at the moment she's leaning to one side so to hedge against my own stupidity the very first thing is the simplest thing and that's to slide in the clip clutch uh, you know the, the, the release pin that just goes into here like this okay obviously there's no point in putting the rest of this on there unless that's in there um, Although we could put it in later um, because we haven't got the, got the uh, you know, have the, this hooked up. I want to get it in there right now. So at least that's my initial call on it. So I think what we'll do is we'll just get these, uh, these nuts in here, you know, relatively loose, loosely. Um, and as I say that, and then we'll, uh, we'll align everything. So that's probably what we're going to do. Um, Maybe this one on top it a little bit easier initially. Kind of need three hands at the moment. Hey guys, okay, we're uh, we went we got that uh, clutch release mechanism nicely mounted on there, so that's all good. So the next bit is going to go and be putting the uh, the stator and the rotor back on. So I've got the rotor here uh, in a box. So there's the rotor. So we're going to be putting that on first and then we'll be sliding the, the stator on top of that and securing it with a, uh, a, 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 a with the stator bolt. So that's going to be the process here. Um, so yeah, first step, the, um, I believe this is the commutator part. This is the part that goes against the, uh, the brushes that are inside the, uh, inside the stator. So that goes to the outside. This is a keyed shaft, or of course, it's actually got a pin on the on the shaft. So we need to make sure that those line up. So I've got a light here just to kind of make sure, kind of know when it when it's in the right spot. And sure enough, that's where she goes right there. So the next bit is to go and put the uh, eccentric on there. Uh, the eccentric actually uh, actuates the uh, points. I'm just grabbing that. I should have that ready, but I've got it here now. So <clears throat> here's the eccentric. Okay, that's the piece. And if I hold it up carefully here, uh, you'll see that it's not exactly round. That hole is not exactly dead center. It's not exactly round. That's on purpose because this is essentially a little cam that actuates the points as it goes around. So again, this end here uh, inside the uh, rotor is keyed 
So we need to make sure we get that lined up with this. Let me put this in here. So, okay, that's in there. And that presses, presses in there. Now it's gonna get pulled in when I put the bolt on. So we're gonna do that next. Put the bolt on here. Okay, and it is a uh, 10 millimeter. So I've got the 10 millimeter socket here. And I'm just gonna zoom it on carefully. This is a um, tapered shaft on uh, this side of the engine, so what I may have to go do is get a, yeah, you know what we're going to do is I'm going to get something to hold that so that we, uh, so that we can tighten her and what I'm going to use is a, um, use one of these straps, okay. You can use one of these straps carefully. Now, what I've heard some guys do is they'll take a you know a piece of wood or something else and put it up here against one of the pistons. But yeah, I'm not too keen on that. Now, this obviously we've got windings here, but on the on the uh, on on the uh, I guess probably magnets on the magnet side here. I think it's fairly safe to use this on here. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we'll just get that on there. I got this on the right way. I always get these wrong. Oh, I got on the wrong way. Hang on a sec. Let me just take that off. Stick it on the other way. Okay. I'm not touching any wires. We're all good there. We're all good. Now we can hold this pretty reliably. That's on there tight. That's on there tight. Okay, good. So that's on. So now the next bit is going to be to take the uh, the stator and to put in on. I've noticed that I've got the um, the condensers here off, so I'm going to put them on first, and then we're going to slide the whole thing on. So that'll be the that will be the next step. Okay, um, so we've got the uh, condensers just put back on there, uh, just a single flathead screw. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take off. Um, we wired this, uh, the generator or the, the whole mechanism here up with some, uh, some telephone wire just to hang it while we're taking the engine up. So just going to get that all unwound here. And uh, yeah, get that off. Get that out of our way. Okay, and then we're going to put this on and uh, we're going to need to actually put these wires back up in here but I'm thinking I can do that after I actually get this on here so that's going to be the hope anyways we're going to see okay now is it that simple What I'm looking at is we've got the brushes inside there and I'm kind of wondering um, we want to make sure we don't damage those brushes when we put this in so I'm kind of wondering if there's a process around that um, when we take this out so that's just what I'm looking at here okay guys I just wanted to show you how the generator goes back on to uh, the rotor here uh, and onto the engine so I was being a little bit careful because there are brushes, right, carbon brushes, two of them that uh, go in here and I could see that if I just pushed this on, they would not uh, engage the stator correctly. In fact, if you, you know, if you jammed them on there like that, it would break the carbon brushes um, against the stator, well, or, excuse me, against the commutator, which I would guess would be a really bad thing. So clearly the, uh, the brushes needed to be pushed out a little bit so that they would go on. So what I did is I found how, how they're gone, how they're attached. And there's two little clips that go right in here. Okay. Um, and you just simply lift them up with this, the edge of a screwdriver. Let me just show you one of those here. So 
Yeah, there's one of the clips, okay? And you see those uh, those edges on it. You just get a screwdriver on it and just lift up one edge, carefully keeping a finger on it so it doesn't fly across the room, of course. And uh, then you can push the uh, push the carbons up out of the way to go onto uh, on, onto the uh, the rotor here and over top of the uh, commutator. So you want to get it in there. Just get it in there so it's a little bit lined up. There's some mounting holes. And I see that I've got it wrong entirely here. Let me just make sure my carbons are out of the way. They are. Carbon brushes are good. There's my mounting holes, top and bottom, where they go. So I'm just going to line it up there and just kind of push it in a little bit. And that's it. Yeah, come on, stay there. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. We'll get the rest of it with the bolts. We've got two long bolts that go in there. And again, they go in top and bottom like this. So that's what we're going to do. Um, then um, once we have it on there, then we can push the, push the springs back in to push the carbon brushes back down onto, uh, you know, back, back, back down onto the uh, commutator. So that's the process. Took a little bit of doing to uh, figure that out uh, because there's not very many videos on this bit and the ones that are there are in Russian, which makes it kind of tough. So, uh, and I don't have a workshop manual for this bike. So anyways, that's what uh, the solution I've come up with, whether it's exactly right or not, don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's going to work. So uh, yeah, let's get after it. Okay guys, so we've got the uh, generator just about back on there. We're just about to uh, put the bolts in and button it up. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time pressing on here because this particular one is rusty as heck. So I went and uh, where there's four bosses on each side. So I sanded those off, off both on the bike and also on the generator to get them cleaned up. I actually put a tiniest little bit of grease on the bosses on the bike. Uh, and it was able to slide it on there. Then the next little bit of a challenge is getting it lined up with the holes because it's completely a blind, a blind go. But what I did is there's, um, it's quite a robust housing and there's two places where you can grab some purchase on it. And I just simply got it roughly right, got it where I thought I, it was supposed to go when I pushed it on. And then to just adjust it back and forth, I'd give it a tap with a punch. And, uh, and a rubber hammer on each side just to rotate it. And it was just a matter of fiddling with it until, uh, you know, until uh, we actually got it on there. So, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. So now we're just gonna tighten these guys down and call that, uh, call that on there. Then of course we have to put the, um, you know, the uh, secure the brushes in against the stator. Um, as well so that uh, with the uh, you know with the attachments I showed you earlier so they're like little magnets <clears throat> not little magnets excuse me little holders with uh, springs so yeah we'll, we'll put those on in a moment so I suspect this is going to go in a fair ways more into those bosses so I want to do this by hand because I don't want to I don't want to bind it up and I think if I do it by hand, I'm a little safer to not do that. Well, this seems to have gone in pretty well. So I'm going to tighten that down now with a socket. Again, a little bit, a little bit, of, you know, consistently, kind of like you're torquing something down. I don't want to get too carried away here. At the end of the day, we're going into an aluminum case. So, yeah. I think it's on there. I don't want to get too carried away with it. Again, we're going into an aluminum case here. Uh, so we need to be a little bit cautious. So good. So now the next bit is to get those, um, those little clips in there to hold the brushes in. And again, I showed these to you before, but uh, yeah, there you go. That's kind of this focus. Yeah, there you go. These little clips here. So Okay, I am going to uh, push those uh, in there. I'm probably going to be in the way of the camera here, but I don't see any way about it. So I'm just going to take a look here. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's that one. Okay, this one just goes right in here. Just gets clipped down and snapped in. And that's it. So there's the other one. 
and it goes right in on top here, right in here. I just gotta do that one as well. on there nice and secure and they are okay good so hey how about that the generator is now officially back on so that's great news and now what we need to do is we need to get this wiring uh, pushed back into the case here uh, a little bit more neatly than what it is right now so that will be the next thing so we'll get that done and then come back <laughs> 